I feel like it is important to change the narrative that is placed on us already or what people expect from us growing up in these neighborhoods. At the moment when I walk out of my house with the camera, I do sometimes imagine like maybe there's like these adults watching me or maybe this kid watching me, watching me. Then they see something different. My name is Terrence Price. I'm a photographer. I document the streets, a human condition in Miami. The shooting film makes me more focused when I'm walking through the streets taking photos. Uh, because I'm limited to a certain amount of shots, I know that I can't just waste a shot. With digital, it makes it a lot easier to just go out there and shoot like thousands of photographs. But to be able to capture a moment on film when I'm limited to only 24 to 36 shots lets me know that, you know, I really have to be patient and I have to be a part of the process. Well, I always felt like shooting film is like an old to the past. because back in the day there was only film before digital, of course, and it's something more real to me. And it also forces me to actually go out there and search for an image rather than just holding a digital camera and shooting multiple shots. I'm limited to sometimes 24 shots or 36 shots. So within that role of film, I have to go out there and find things that are really important to me. In these neighborhoods, I don't always search for what people are expecting from those neighborhoods. My subjects are just everyday people and you know, I don't feel like that should be something to be frowned upon. So I try to find something that provides a little bit more like a fresh air to make people want to go there and see, you know, these moments. I believe that it's important if I'm going to capture something that's bad or seen as not good, I'm putting it back out there in the universe for it possibly to happen again. So by me creating these moments and finding more joyful things, then hopefully it changes the course of the, the neighborhood. You know, people see me walking around with this camera around my neck, so sometimes they're either curious or some people can see you as a threat too. Sometimes I'll ask people like, hey, can I take your photo? And then they're like, no, no, I don't want you to take my photo and blah, blah, blah. But then sometimes people approach me and you know, want me to take their photo. You know, this is a new canvas for us all. So there is no wrong whatever we create and whatever we put out is fresh because a lot of people are looking towards Miami as what do they have to offer, but what are we offering ourselves? We can't always expect other people in our neighborhood to do it for us. So we have to take that leap to be different. You know, we have to dare ourselves to be different in order to change the narrative for future generations to come. I just started getting into filmmaking about three years ago with a film that I made called Summer Before It Springs In. This is when matchmaking is high. Pool visits is frequent and there's a million fights. Sweat from your pores is leaking, let me squeeze in and catwalking bikes. Sundresses, wife beater, gym shows, joys and scuffed up nights. Beethoven got all the kids going cuckoo. Breaking their parents with pocket change, but this is what they used to. 
Just not every day, because Beethoven's going to be playing every day, and the kids going to be outside every day. When they go back, a different grade they'll be in. Street football to Little League football season. Watermelon and sunflower seeds fill up the cement. Along with broken Henny bottles from yesterday, we dread the day when tomorrow will be autumn. But anyway, the weather's perfect, and the beach is always a good idea. This is the way to live carefree, but this atmosphere has a strange feeling like a damn villain is coming to do some joy stealing that shit that I don't want to deal with so I'ma just look at the bright side of summer and that was just a film focusing on some of the issues that are going on in these neighborhoods during the summertime where summer is seen as a time for joy for students out of school and having fun playing in the streets, but there's always something lingering in the background that could be unexpected during summertime because there's so much free time. So Summer Before Springs End was just creating this uh, reality for everybody to see how it's like. Ah. I rise, by the crust in my eyes Snap, crack, a pop, every bone that is in my fun size Body, about to make it to this party Cause my fox was naughty in my sleep Tell them sheep, tell them sorry, G and mommy My social network, kiss me on the cheek Then she off the word, check my social network Nobody hurt Well, one of the people that I've been collaborating with is a painter And he's also an MC uh, His name is Reginald O'Neill And, you know, we met through art So it was really easy to you know, be able to approach him with an idea and for us to collaborate on ideas together. And, um, you know, I, I really enjoyed that. me after sharing a story which was inspiring. Said I had another chance to make anything happen, make it count and have fun while you at it and try to be mad. Way before I started the music, I told Terrence, like, I want to make this, this, uh, this, like, conceptual album or whatever. I want to do, like, a video for it. And then afterwards, Terrence was like, why don't we just make it like a short film out of it? So I made a promise to myself, I'm a murder the next quiz. Spider Alex in the walk. The cinematography, of course, is something that I, you know, I value a lot. So it made it easy to transition into filmmaking. So our time wasn't shallow. Got to my crib and chill for a while. She had a great idea, drive to the beach and talk to the sun go down. So we did. You know, shooting photography, I'm always walking around, I'm seeing everything move, but once I put my camera to it and I capture it, everything stops for a second. So I felt like stepping into filmmaking would be a way for me to really share my vision with people. I feel like Miami's starting to get its own flavor. People are starting to collaborate a lot more too. Over the years, of course, people always look to LA or New York as these places where we have to go to make things happen for ourselves. Like over the years, Miami kind of shaved all those people away. And I feel like the people that are here now are really starting to see how fresh and new Miami is. A lot of people are not portraying the community how they should, I feel. If you get somebody from elsewhere and they try to do something about the, the neighborhood, the neighborhood is not going to be as comfortable because they don't know you or they don't know anybody uh, that's outside of this or who's trying to do something that's trying to portray them so they don't want to be involved in it. A friend of ours who's a photographer, Terrence who's a photographer, they're starting to portray the culture in like in its rarest form. So. Growing up in these cities, for some children, you know, they go out and they see things that they're not sure if it's positive or negative because of them being young. So when they see us doing something, of course they're gonna look up to us. It's a good time to be in Miami and to be sticking to Miami and not worrying about going to other places to make something happen for yourself. Because everything we need is here. We just have to figure out how to work together to make things happen. You know, photography has been around for so long, but the certain style that I take interest in, when I started to see other photographers were out there doing the same thing, then I knew that I'm on the right path.